Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. What's going on, YouTube? It's your host, The Gale. Back at it again with another VV Technology video. So, as usual, I have another exciting, interesting video for you guys. It seems that Ecomi is interested in getting into the payments um, game. They have yet another card up their sleeve that I don't think anybody else knows about. I haven't seen anybody cover this, so I think it's safe to assume that you're hearing it first from me. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's that. As I've said before, I live in their Medium uh, page, their channel, Medium channel. There are so many gems there, and I think people are sleeping on that. So I've been combing through that, and basically half of my channel is just converting um, their reading material into audio. Because on this channel, primarily, I wanted to build a foundation of knowledge of things that we already know. I mean, you know, we'll learn more from what they publish and give us than speculation. Speculation is fun, and we'll get to that after we build a foundation of what we already know for sure or have a good idea of what's coming. So um, if I can give my ego the stage for a second, people just found out about Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty and Astro Boy like a few days ago, when in this video right here, I found it out three weeks ago just from you know, diving deep into Ecomi's um, YouTube page. So, and I got quite a few other videos in my brand awareness videos where, you know, I got some interesting finds. But anyway, the point is that diving deep and doing due diligence, you, you'll find a lot, you'll learn a lot more than, you know, you know, just random uh, rumors or whatever. But anyway, let's get into the video. We got some interesting content. So let's check it out. MasterCard joins the blockchain party and Ecomi is ready and waiting. It's important to note that this article was uh, published July 20th, 2018. Recent news put out about international payment card giant MasterCard have not only validated the blockchain industry, but also serves as clear evidence the company has acknowledged the inevitability of crypto payments in the near future. It is also exactly what Ecomi expected to see happen over the course of 2018. And thanks to the vertical positioning of the company, Ecomi is perfectly situated to take advantage of these developments when issuing the all-in-one payment card, Ecomi One. MasterCard have been awarded a number of blockchain-related patents in recent months. After publishing details of a patent to provide faster blockchain node activation in April, the company made headlines in May with a patent which utilizes blockchain to reduce coupon fraud. As CCN reported, another recent patent deals with lowering the price point and efficiency of travel itinerary bidding. The company didn't stop there, however, and having also rewarded a number of crypto patents in June, including patents which allow for anonymous, anonymous blockchain transactions and speed up payments while making them more secure. Now, details have surfaced that MasterCard has filed a new patent application outlining a means for linking assets between traditional fiat currency accounts and newer blockchain cryptocurrency accounts. According to the USTPO document, existing payment systems are often configured to perform complex calculations, risk assessments, and fraud algorithm applications extremely fast, as to ensure quick processing of fiat currency transactions. Accordingly, the use of traditional payment networks and payment system technologies in, com in combination with blockchain currencies may provide consumers and merchants the benefit of the decentralized blockchain while still maintaining security of account information and provide a strong defense against fraud and theft. Theoretically, this actually brings the entire blockchain industry one step closer to being able to use a debit card to spend cryptocurrencies anywhere in the world, or at least where MasterCard is, is accepted. And rather than continuing the war between crypto and traditional finance, may serve to bridge the gap between the two. Ecomi One and MasterCard. Whilst on the surface, these patents and the moves made by MasterCard may appear to be a threat to Ecomi One, the truth is, in fact, the opposite. First, there are a few key points to understand. MasterCard and Visa, for that matter, are forms of payment. The companies do not actually issue any credit or debit cards themselves. They rely on banks and institutions in various countries to issue credit and debit cards that utilize these payment methods. These cards allow you to make payments all over the world. 
However, up until now, they have only been linked to traditional bank accounts. Understanding the economic environment surrounding blockchain, Ecomi, through their parent company Orbis, had the foresight to acquire an ownership stake in our hardware device manufacturing facility. This was done to vertically position the production of the secure wallet and ensure the viability of other products in the Ecomi ecosystem, the Ecomi One card for example. This manufacturer is already an approved licensor slash issuer of Visa and MasterCard, and these patents not only serve Ecomi in navigating the regulatory approval involved in issuing our own payment card, it also means we can take advantage of the hard work and payment systems currently being developed by MasterCard. So what sets Ecomi One apart? Although Ecomi will be able to leverage our manufacturer's licensing ability, and therefore these recent MasterCard patents, there are still a number of key points of difference between Ecomi One card and traditional finance. Number one, Ecomi One is built on top of the impressive secure wallet technology. This means it is an immutable storehouse, aka cold storage wallet, of your cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and private keys for dApps. Two, the Ecomi One card can also store traditional fiat currencies such as USD, GPB, and AUD, and allows you to pay in the currency of your choice crypto or otherwise. Three, where the most recent patent filing by MasterCard is a method of linking fiat and crypto accounts, this does not create a secure means to store, trade, and interact or, or trans, and transact with your crypto, which the Ecomi One is built for. Although it is the size and thickness of a credit card, Ecomi One is an intelligent hardware device with integrated security or circuitry and features that allow that you can control simply within the Ecomi app. These include, but are not limited to, selecting a default currency for payment and an inbuilt exchange function, allowing you to transact in the currency of your choice or trade on the spot and take advantage of price fluctuations. Five, aside from the traditional mag, magnet, mag strip, magnetic strip to make payments, Ecomi One is also NFC enabled. This means it can store your existing credit and debit cards as well as any other NFC enabled cards such as gym memberships, shopping loyalty cards, key phobes, etc. And you simply use the Ecomi app to select the card you need. As a company, Ecomi is not only ecstatic to see the continuing adoption of blockchain technologies into the traditional finance, it is also excited about the opportunities this adoption will bring. With Ecomi One due out in 2019, we are perfectly positioned to leverage the patents of MasterCard and their associated blockchain networks, which will help us overcome a number of existing barriers to adoption. So as I was reading that article, I thought maybe it might be outdated. So I, I typed in MasterCard and cryptocurrency to see what comes up and how recent um, you know, their activity has been. And it turns out four days ago, they just partnered with uh, the Gemini Exchange with the Winklevoss twins. So they are still up and running. They are still making moves. Um, as we know, PayPal has uh, started accepting crypto. We know that um, Coinbase just IPO'd. Ripple is planning on IPOing after the SEC case is over. So crypto is definitely going main, mainstream. So I think that article might still be in play. I don't know if Ecomi... I mean, Ecomi could have changed their mind on the card, but... It seems like they're trying to be a major player in the crypto realm. And accepting payments is just another um, access point to, you know, revenue and other things like that. So, so that's the video, my friends. Drop a like if this is the first time you're hearing about the Call Me One card. And if not, leave it in the comments where you heard it first and I can go check it out. Um, but yeah, man, Call Me. Ecomi is a very interesting uh, company, and I'm very excited to be invested in and have uh, their digital collectibles, you know, as an early adopter. If it wasn't for uh, XRP, Omi would be my favorite token, but it's climbing up there. It's getting up there. But yeah, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. I'm just, I'm just a guy who uh, likes to read Medium articles and likes to be ahead of the curve. I just have a lot of opinions on this company, and it's fun to... Uh, it's fun to dive deep and learn what this company has in store for us. I'm very excited. So once again, thank you for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and hodl strong.
Hoddle Strong.